Fallout 4's out, and millions of gamers are already pissing off giant mutants, modifying laser guns, and amassing a small fortune in bottle caps. If you'd like to escape from the vault that is your daily existence and begin exploring virtual wastelands, you might be wondering how powerful of a PC you need to play Fallout 4. Well, this video is going to cover everything you need to know to play Fallout 4 on PC on a variety of settings, from the bare minimum up to extremely demanding resolutions like 4K. Let's get started. First, a few notes on the technical demands of Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is built on an updated version of the Creation Engine, developed by Bethesda and originally powering the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim back in 2011. The engine has received some significant upgrades since Skyrim, including physics-based shading, which definitely makes Fallout 4 look better, but the visual quality still doesn't quite match the nicest looking games that came out this year. Despite that, the game does boast nice visuals, and it is tough on hardware. As an open world game, Fallout 4 has a high draw distance, meaning that the game renders objects that are far away from the player, which requires significant graphical power in its own right. With that in mind, the most important computer component for playing Fallout, and really, almost any game, is gonna be your graphics card. Assuming you don't have any other bottlenecks, your frame rate and level of graphical detail in Fallout will be largely dependent on the quality of your graphics card. Let's compare that to CPUs. As long as your CPU is good enough for Fallout, getting a better CPU will not significantly improve the game's performance in the way that getting a better graphics card will. Now with that out of the way, let's take a look at the minimum settings for the game according to Bethesda. For minimum requirements, Bethesda set the bar relatively high here. You need a 2GB graphics card from NVIDIA or AMD, though not really anything very high powered, and a decent lower mid-range CPU. The most surprising thing about these minimum requirements is the 8GB of RAM. If you're really scraping together change to build a PC for Fallout 4, you could probably get away with just 4 gigs of RAM, but realistically, pretty much any PC these days should have 8 gigs anyway. Regardless, these components listed as the minimum requirements are actually kind of outdated, so you can't just go buy these particular parts anymore. If you were looking to build a minimum spec machine for Fallout 4 today, here's what we'd recommend instead. We've updated the graphics card to either a GTX 750 Ti from Nvidia or an R7 370 from AMD. Our CPU recommendation is one of two relatively cheap options, the G3258 from Intel or the 860K from AMD. A complete PC built with specs like these would probably cost around $400. Okay, that's great. Knowing the minimum specs is helpful, but most people want to play their games at a higher level of quality. Let's look at what we'd recommend for playing Fallout 4 with maximum settings at 1080p while achieving a decent frame rate of 50 or more FPS. Here we've upgraded to the GTX 960 or the R9 380. Either of these cards should get you a nice average FPS of 50 in Fallout 4 at 1080p with nearly all the settings turned to maximum. And the i3-4170 or the FX6350 will work as CPUs that won't bottleneck the game's performance. A setup built with these specs will probably cost around $600, and you can lower just a few graphical settings to get up to 60 FPS if you're not happy with your frame rate. In particular, there are three settings that have an enormous impact on FPS. God Rays, Shadow Distance, and Shadow Quality. Tweaking these particular settings will be your best option for achieving 60 FPS without sacrificing a lot of visual quality. Alright, but what if you have a fancy 1440p monitor, or you want to ensure that you're getting a solid 60fps at 1080p without sacrificing any of those sweet, sweet god rays? In that case, we have a slightly beefier setup in mind. This build will get you close to 60fps at 1440p, and well above 60fps at 1080p with maximum settings. We've upgraded to the GTX 970 and the R9 390 for the GPU, and the i5 4590 for the CPU. A complete build with these specs should cost around $900. And once again, at 1440p, you can tweak a few graphical settings like the three we mentioned a second ago, and hopefully achieve a smooth 60fps with this setup. Finally, what if you're the type of person who's bored of sleeping on your mattress of $100 bills, and you want to play Fallout 4 at 4K resolution? Let's see what you'd need for that. There isn't really a single graphics card that will get you close to 60 FPS in Fallout 4 at 4K without sacrificing some graphical detail. Instead, to get the job done, you'll need to double up on a powerful graphics card like the GTX 980. The i7-5930K is a little overkill for a CPU, but this is an overkill kind of PC. 
And of course, you really only need 8 gigabytes of RAM, but you might as well get 16 gigs if you're going all out with this thing. A complete build with this hardware should cost somewhere in the neighborhood of $2,300. And that's it. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you want more recommendations on building the best PC for your budget, visit us at logicalincrements.com. Thanks for watching, and have fun collecting those bobbleheads.